A photo out of the box. That's how I would call it. The analysis will do is not going to be that common as well. Now is the moment you to give it a try on your own so that to be able to compare after that what you see in the photo and what I see here. I'll be happy if you start adding some more ideas about approaches for the analysis of whichever photo you like or whichever photo provokes you. The Q&A section is yours. Keep in mind that the analysis I offer is a little bit deeper. The message of the photograph is a little bit deeper, but that's what makes it interesting actually. Let's start from what you see here. Pay attention to the portrait on the white piece of paper glued on the post. This is not typical for every culture and religion, so let me explain. The photo is taken in Bulgaria. Predominantly Eastern Orthodox Christianity spread here. The piece of paper that you see is an obituary. Obituaries are stuck up after somebody's death on precise periods, as in this case, after six months, after one year, and so on. This is a way to keep the memory for the person alive. The relatives are those who stick them up close to the person's home and to the place he used to visit often. Now you have quite a good general idea. The role of this piece of paper is important in our case. It helped us compose a photo with a deeper psychological meaning, with a deeper message. There are four key elements here. The first one, a woman with a bent down head, first association, sad mood, depression, dark silhouette on a white background. That's why she stands out so clearly. The second element, number eight. It's tram number eight, but this is not what matters that much. The number, think of it as for a symbol. Symbol of eternity, exactly. And now, a step deeper. Life is nothing but eternity. Nothing but a circle. An everlasting circular motion, agree? Life is samsara. Not mine or yours. Life in general. Third element. The obituary. A portrait plus a cross at the same time. A man from the past is present here. The fourth, last element, a hand. Another strong symbol. A hand of an adult. A hand that has certainly been through a lot in this life. Let's combine them now. This is what we have. A figure is formed in front of your eyes. Look at this cross, along with the number 8. Association with the deck of cards? Exactly. Eight of clubs. This is the card. In any interpretation you may encounter about the card, again, it's something negative. It's associated with bad energy. You've noticed probably. Your analysis depends on your general culture. Let's say on the books you've read, the movies you've watched, the music you listen to, the people you communicate with, the information you've remembered. Not only by the way you analyze, but through the way you shoot and compose your images as well, your audience understands really, really a lot about you. If you don't have this general attitude to the world, you can't start thinking about analysis. No way, just. You won't be able to notice, to connect the symbols. I, at least for myself, try to analyze deeper everything that's going on in the world around me. 
not speaking about photography only. This photo is quite a good example, at least in my view. It does have deep message in itself. The last step, a cross. This is where our interpretation led us to. All of the leading elements, apart from the mood, are united by a geometry figure or a religious symbol, read it as you prefer. The head, the hand, the cross, the number eight. Not a perfect one, but still, a cross that has been in front of us all the time. An analysis out of the box I promised you. Here we did it, together. You are getting better.